Brielle here. Um, I'm from the help desk room 200. Today I am showing you how to use XJournal. To find that you're going to go on your dash, type in XOU um, to find XJournal. Now I don't know if that's exactly how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it today. So this is a great application if you don't have Wi-Fi or if you're out of school and can't get into Wi-Fi at the moment. Um, I suggest you don't use it in class because it's a bit harder than Exodo to use. Um, but it's still good if you're doing readings while at home. So you will need a PDF to upload. Once you have that, you're just going to click on the page with the orange rectangle on it. For this video, I'm going to use Edgar Allan Poe's Complete Tales and Stories, or Poem, sorry. Um, this would be great for an English class if you have one. And you can also expand this. So here you can see I have the page. What I really like about this is you can have many different colors, um, formats of style, um, sizes. It's really different than Exmo. You can also highlight and there's a ruler option. So I'll be showing you all of these and how to use these quick simple things. And then you can experiment on yourself, on your laptop. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change colors. So here you can see this is just black. If you just click on whatever color you want, you can just highlight in that color then. You can also change the thickness of it, which is really useful because I'm not going to see that little line. That's going to take forever to see. And also if it's in black with black text. It's going to take forever to see. Another thing you can do which I really admire is the highlighter option which is right here. And you can just highlight it. It looks like it won't highlight but it does. And you can also change the color of that highlighter as well. So if there was something important or if, or if you're color coding I find that really useful I use this every day with third graders at Hamburg Elementary to do readings and I find it really useful another option there is is the ruler option which looks like a ruler and that's if you can't do straight lines which I can't so here it's using the highlighter and it's just highlighting a straight line which I really like or you can click off of that and go to a pencil option uh, sorry about this you can also change whatever color you want so if you like purple go for it oh pencil okay um, you can just highlight that, hit the ruler, straight line, it makes it really easy. And if you don't like something, there is an eraser button and you can just erase away. Um, there's also a text button, so it's useful. I don't like how there's not like a little box, but I suppose you can make one and just like make a arrow and then put the text there but I really wish they would have an option for that um, I do find it really useful though when you're taking notes and you're trying to color code because I get really scrambled when I'm taking notes so this does help me a lot and if you do want to save it you just go to this little um, disk drive with the arrow and um, just type whatever so if this was English and this is the second PDF and it will just save it right away onto wherever you put it so here it is oops wrong thing sorry um, I'll 
I'll go into my reset. So it's the English 2 XOJ file. And we'll have all your work and you can still edit it again. So that's really nice. Um, if you have any troubles, questions, concerns, come down to room 200 um, for the help desk and you can either ask for Brielle or any of the other IT department. We're really willing to help you out here. So if you have any questions, just come down and I hope you have a great day.